This is the future. Good day, my old and new Cryptonians, and welcome back to part 3 of our fire martial video. Today we are going to finish up with fire behavior. We will also be discussing how a fire spreads and how it grows. It is important for you to know this so that you will know when it is safe to attack a fire with a fire extinguisher and when it is time to get the hell out of there. So let's get to it. First, look at this picture. There are three ways that fire can move or spread. Conduction, which is the passage of heat energy through or within a material because of direct contact. Convection, which is the flow of fluid or gas from hot areas to cooler areas. And radiation, where heat is traveling via electromagnetic waves without objects or gases carrying it along. There is a reason why your house is a certain distance from your neighbor's house. Look how fast this fire can spread due to convection. It started at the bottom and due to convection it started heading all the way up. And it took like a few seconds as you guys can see from when the fire started to where it was at the top. Look at this car park. This is due to radiation and the cars standing too close to each other. Now, a fire has got four stages of development. You firstly have your ignition or incipient stage, which is where the fire actually starts. It's the spark that causes the flame. If you detect a fire at this stage, it is absolutely safe to go and attack that fire with a fire extinguisher. Because you know, a dry chemical powder extinguisher only has more or less a 30 second dispersal time. So you have 30 seconds to put out that fire. So if the fire just starts and it's a small fire, then you know for a fact you can be confident you can go in and you can go kill that fire with that extinguisher. You can also at that stage call the control room or whoever you guys are supposed to call, hit the fire alarm to notify the people in the area that there is a fire and let the people start evacuating the area. And after that is done, you can go and put out the fire. Now depending on the type of fuel that's burning or the area, a fire can spread at a very alarming rate. The second stage of fire development is the growth state. This is now where the fire gets bigger. With initial flames as a heat source, additional fuels ignite. Convection and radiation ignites more surfaces. It is now or never. Put it out or get out. In a fully developed stage, the entire room is on fire. Temperatures reach their peak, resulting in heat damage. Oxygen is consumed rapidly. Everything is now burning. By this time, you should already be out, doing roll call, making sure that everyone is out of the building and seeing if anyone is missing. Finally, we have the decay stage. All the O2 is out of the room. It has been consumed by the fire and the fuel is almost finished. The fire will burn less intense and as the O2 gets finished, the fire will die. Remember, removing one of the components from the triangle so that you can stop the self-sustaining chemical reaction. That's one of them. So let us quickly watch this short video clip of how quick a fire can spread in a room from beginning to end. Watch the clock. As you saw guys, five minutes. You don't have time to think about something. Once you see a fire, hit the alarm, get the people out, kill the fire. If it's too big or you feel 
not confident enough or you feel it's unsafe, get out of there. Don't try and be a hero. So, awesomeness. That is how a fire spreads, how a fire moves, and the stages of fire growth. So let's do the quick and short summary. Zoi! Okay guys, short summary time. Remember, fire can spread in three ways. Conduction, convection, and radiation. There are four stages of fire development. Incipient, growth, fully developed, and decay. If you want to kill the fire, do so in the beginning. Don't wait for it to get too big to handle. Safety first. If you feel unsafe, get out. Don't try to be a hero. Now that you guys know how a fire moves, how it spreads, how it grows, now we can start talking about the types of fire classifications and the type of fire extinguishers, which will be on the next video. So if you want to see it, please remember to subscribe to this channel and then give me a thumbs up for this video because the thumbs ups really help the channel. So remember, whatever you're doing, keep it safe. And until next time, cheers. Someone asked me, how do I remember everything that I'm saying on the videos? Is it in my mind? I said, no, I write it on a laptop. I put the laptop on the chair. That's where I read it from. And uh, as you can see, there's my lighting and there's my green screen. And that's how I did my recording. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where I do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers